Math time! <laughs> I actually thought it was landscaping or construction or something like that, but no, we're doing math today. Uh, behind me, I have this garden. Uh, this raised garden beds we're going to be planting. I have another video on YouTube about how to calculate the volume of the dirt for those, but we'll save that for later. What I need to do today, though, is I've got to get water into this garden. And uh, I've done most of the work already, but we're going to do some trig today to finish this up. Here we go. So what we need to do is we need to get water to this garden area. And uh, so right about here, we're going to put, um, I don't know, some sort of a pump house or something where all the controls for the irrigation will go. Problem is that to get the water here, we've got to go across this section of driveway to somewhere over here where there will be a hole. So I've plotted a straight line. You can kind of see the line on the ground right there. So I know about where that's going to come out. What I don't know is how deep. So uh, let me show you a couple things here. First of all, before I forget, uh, the method I finally ended up using for getting through this is a PVC pipe, nope, an ABS pipe. And I use my jigsaw to cut some teeth on that. And I just push that in the ground and twist it a little bit. And then, uh, well, where does that go, you ask? Well, on the other end of this is my shop vac with a very long extension hose. There it is. So we just turn the shop vac on, twist this pipe around a little bit, suck the dirt out and repeat. If it gets too dry, I've got a hose that I stick in right here. So uh, there's the PVC hose with a, a uh, valve on the other end. So we can shoot some water down there and break up whatever's underneath. So what happened is uh, after a couple of days of digging on this, we could not figure out where on earth this pipe was coming out on that side over there. So, we're going to do some math and figure that out. So there's where the pipe sits. And if I hold that kind of level there, you can see the slope of the driveway. Let's look at that closer. What I have here is a digital level. Normally we use this in the shop to set the blade on the table saw, but this will work perfectly for what we're doing. If I set this on my pipe, I get a reading of 2.2 degrees. Now I know my driveway is curved here where I am, so we're gonna take multiple readings. Let's take, uh, let's do five and we'll take an average. So, 2.3, nope, 2.6, 0.7, right here in the middle, 2.8, 2.5, and 1.3. All right. Now we thread the pipe into the hole. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to find out what the angle of the pipe is and find out what pitch it's going down relative to the driveway and then I'll know how deep to dig the hole. Okay, so we've got the pipe down in the hole. And we are at 6.5 degrees. Okay, the last thing we need to make this calculation is the length of the pipe. Um, ideally, I'd want the length of the level line across this, but since we're only talking about a few degrees, uh, the amount of error that we'll have is negligible. So, let's just put that on the end there, run that across, and we are at about 18 feet right to the beginning of the hole there. Yeah, just about 18 feet. We'll make it 18 feet. Again, since we're only talking a few degrees, uh, a couple inches won't make that much difference. We'll have to overdig it. So I've already done the work. I've dug the hole. Uh, you, you can look at it there. Of course, there's water in the bottom, so we don't know how deep it really is. But uh, when I woke up this morning, we still hadn't punched through that pipe, and we had to know how far to dig. So the challenge here is, using the math, find how deep that hole is underneath the driveway. All right. Construction-style math. We use a board and a carpenter's pencil. So, here's what you need to do. Basic trig here. When am I going to use this in the real world? How about right now? Okay, we've got an 18-foot driveway. In fact, I'm going to make it easy. We're going to put the 18-foot on the angle. Okay, so I know I've got 18 feet of pipe. Now, at this distance right here, these two lengths are going to be pretty darn close to the same. Okay, and we know... Well, we can figure out what this angle is right here. 
right? We've got the slope of the driveway here and then the slope of the pipe down here. So what is the average slope of this space right here? And what is the slope of the pipe? I think I'm kind of confusing us now. Hold on a second. All right, basic trig. Triangle. We want to know what is y, because it's the depth, that's the up and down, that's the y variable, right? Right? And we know that there's an angle, and we know that there's a length of our hypotenuse, h. And we know there's three different trig formulas we can use. We've got sine, cosine, and tangent. And if you took algebra, you remember so katoa. So ka toa. S O H C A H T A O. So ka toa. You see it? Just look at it again. You'll see it. It's in there. Okay? So. Notice two of these have the hypotenuse right there, so it'll be one of those two, not tangent. Now the question is, if this is the angle, are we using the opposite or the adjacent side? Here's my angle right here. So we've got the opposite side over here, so we're going to use the sine function. right? So the sine of this angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. right? We know this, that's 18. We don't know that, so you have to solve for y. Now, there's a couple pieces to this. Remember, we took two different measurements, right? On this other side that I tried to confuse you on, we have level ground up here. We have the driveway right here, D for driveway. And then down here, we've got the pipe. And we had a measurement here and a measurement here. I'm not going to tell you what that is. You got to go back and look. That's part of the fun, right? Plug that all in. I want you to tell me how dig to deep that how dig to deep that hole. That's not right. How uh, how deep to dig that hole? There you go. Show your work. That's an actual math problem. Have fun. Send me a message if you get stuck.